everyone, this is the Groove and Chick, and today I'm making a really easy peanut butter fudge. It takes one stick of margarine, it takes one cup of peanut butter, a cup of miniature marshmallows, a pound of confectionery sugar, and a teaspoon of vanilla. In my pot, I have already melted my mini marshmallows and my one stick of butter, and I'm adding my one cup of peanut butter. Now, you want to do this over a low heat because you don't want anything to scorch. Also, my peanut butter is just a little bit uh, stiff because I had it in the refrigerator. Due to it having oil in it, I feel like it uh, keeps longer in the refrigerator. So, um, that's the reason I have to keep my peanut butter in the refrigerator. Now, I'm just going to let this melt. And this won't take but another minute. The marshmallows take the longest to melt. Is the reason I went ahead and done that. Because, uh, for some reason, my camera likes to cut itself off after about five and a half minutes. And, uh... <clears throat> It thinks I get too chatty or rambly or something, I guess. I also found that I like to mix this with a uh, electric mixer instead of doing it by hand. I feel like I get a smoother peanut butter that way, peanut butter fudge. And it having confectioner sugar instead of granulated sugar, it never is grainy. So it's pretty much a foolproof recipe. And this is great for a new cook or an experienced cook alike. Okay, it's all mixed together. Now I'm going to bring it over here and put my powdered sugar in it. If you put too much powdered sugar in it, all you have to do is add a little bit of cream, and you just do that in small amounts at a time. If you um, get it too thin, you just add a little bit more peanut butter, I mean a little bit more powdered sugar to it, and that will thicken it up. And again, just add that in small amounts at a time. Now, if your powdered sugar is not really fresh, then you want to um, sift it, but my peanut butter um, confectioner sugar is fresh. So, uh, I'm not going to sift it. And now that I've got that mixed just a little bit, I'm going to add my one teaspoon of vanilla. You want to use a real vanilla for this. And you never want to add your vanilla while you ha have your uh, food on its heat because it causes the alcohol to evaporate and uh, you don't get all your good vanilla flavor. So, there that is. Now, this is my second batch of fudge that I made because I'm making a batch for my mom and a batch for my husband. Yum yum. Yum yum, that's right. This is one of his favorite things. I'm not sure if he likes it better just peanut butter or if he likes it better when I uh, stack it like a Reese cup, chocolate on both sides. I'll do that in another video and show you how I do that. It's really easy. I have a really, really easy uh, chocolate fudge recipe that I'll show you. I'm going to add just a little bit of cream to this. Now, I used to mix this I used to, uh, by putting um, plastic gloves on and going in there with my hands and mixing this all up really good. And uh, it burnt my hands so many times that um, I found mixing it with my mixer works better. Plus, it's creamier and it doesn't take as long. And I like the fluffiness that it comes out with in the end. Now, the original recipe that Jim Bates, the lady I used to work with, gave me called for putting it in a um, buttered pan. I don't put mine in a buttered pan. I put mine in the pan lined with press and seal. And I love press and seal. And the reason I do that is because I can flip it out onto my uh, cutting board and cut it more precisely than I can uh, cutting it out of the pan. Now I'm going to add just a little bit more cream to this. It doesn't take long for it to firm up. You put it in your refrigerator and probably within an hour it's pretty firm. If it makes it an hour in the refrigerator here at my house. I have a peanut butter monster. He loves his peanut butter fudge. Alright. I think it's pretty much mixed up. I'm going to put it into my pan. Now the pan that I have is just a little bit large for a single recipe. I normally double this recipe, but I wanted to uh, go ahead and do a video, I decided, and show you how to do this. So, uh, I just folded my press and seal back a little bit, and I'm going to pass that on my pan. And I'll leave a little bit of fudge on the beaters for my handsome husband, who's videoing this for me, to uh, eat off. Here's where I'm going to go with my fudge. Normally when I do double batches, I do the whole pan, but since this is just one batch, um, it, it's too much, or too, not enough to fill out the whole pan and have nice thick fudge. So, 
But this is all you have to do. Smooth it in and uh, put it in your refrigerator and you have peanut butter fudge. Of course, you could eat it right now if you wanted to, but um, if you like my videos, please click like. If you like my channel, please subscribe. I've got a lot more things coming up. That's all there is to easy peanut butter fudge. And like I said again, it never is grainy. There's my phone ring. It's probably Mother wanting to know if we're going to meet her for Mexican for supper. There we go. I'm going to smooth that down a little bit better and put that in the refrigerator. And Mother will have some peanut butter fudge that she's been craving. Anyway, this is the Groove and Chick Out.